What? What happened? Where's the sound coming from? I'm running to you, my baby. Let's save my granddaughter. They're delicious donuts. It seems that Margot needs my help. Hold on. Beauty, a cry sounds from Margot's room. I'm on my way to help. Grandma is nearby. What's wrong, baby? I'm very hungry. <laughs> I wonder how long I can spin without stopping! Hey, get together! Okay. I want the most delicious cake! Wow! Cool! I'll make the coolest one! Nice! Anything? Easy, I'm a professional. Yes! What all kind of right, cake without right, delicious right. cream? Carefully put another cake, another layer of cream, and another cake, and another, and another. Hmm. Let's see. I'll do something interesting. Great. A heart cake with for my beloved Margot. I'll decorate it a little. Let's take a Kit Kat and some cream. Hmm. It turned out well. Perfect. And I'll add some chocolates on top. Margot will like it. Now I'll show you how a cake should look like. Cut it in half. Put one half on the other. Cut out the middle. And then turn it over. Now I'm going to use the colored cream. It will make the cake look even more like a rainbow. I will align the cream a little and make beautiful fluffy yes! clouds next. Perfect. I'll add cute eyes and a mouth. This is how a real masterpiece looks like. You have no chance. <laughs> it is not necessary that the cake is beautiful. The main thing is that it's delicious. Ah, perfect. What? This mountain doesn't even look like a cake. I'm not done yet. Now my cake will also become bright. Milk colored chocolate. Aha. Let's then add some sparkles. And some more, cause girls love sparkles. Wow, that's so cool. Perfect. My cake will definitely win. Wow, it's not a bad idea, but my cake is still better. Wow, what a beautiful bright cake. Perhaps I'll start with it. Awesome. How delicious! I'll try grandma's cake next. Mm. Mm, my favorite sweets and chocolate. Perfect. Yes. Um, what kind of weird cake is this? We'll try it. Uh, it doesn't taste good. No. So the cake from the chef has won. I told you I'd win. What? And it fix your cap. Let's see who makes the best chocolate with marshmallows. Woo! Perfect. Okay. Easy as pie. Yes. I'll do it. Well, why are we sitting? We need to start cooking. My secret to delicious hot chocolate is that I add Margot's favorite chocolate to it. I'll mix it well. Yes! Add some Hershey's. Incredible. Let's mix it again and... I'm going to pour it into the mug that Margot gave me. Look what a beauty with my portrait. Oh my! Big deal. A mug. You don't understand. Now I'll try how I did it. Mm, delicious. Um, okay, as you wish. Okay. Real hot chocolate should be drunk from such glasses, not from mugs. I'll pour hot chocolate now. Okay, you need to whisk the cream and make a beautiful fluffy hat and decorate it with marshmallows. This is how hot chocolate should look like. <laughs> Don't touch it with your hands. Um, what should I do? <gasps> a can of cream. I'll need it. How delicious. We need to make a bigger hat and more marshmallows. Ah, perfect. And also add some candy. Maybe some Oreos. All right, all right, and chocolate all right. sauce. Ah, some cookie sticks. No one has done this for sure. Well, I'll try hot chocolate first from this participant. How many marshmallows? It's so good! It's impossible to stop! Oh, I gave this mug to grandma! Although her hot chocolate is so so. 
I need a straw for this glass. Mmm, delicious! Wow. We need to think a little. Nice. And Andy wins! Hooray! Oh. I'm a real master! Oh, I'm juggling. This time, I want some yes. chips. Wow. How to cook them? I only know how to eat them. Oh, time without your professional Let's tricks. Dare. I'll keep an eye on you. Duh. Um, what should I do? Okay. It's simple. Look. We take the potatoes. We peel them like this. Then cut them like this. Turn on the stove, pour oil, and put the potatoes in. Well, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Uh, I see. Well, hold on, potato. Ha! Now, let's add more oil. There's no time to wait. I'll turn on the stove immediately to the maximum. The lid will be useful for protection. Throwing potatoes, take care. Oops. Um, it seems like it was a bad idea. Be careful, Andy. Oh, I think it turned out perfectly. Mm. Oh my. Ordinary chips? <laughs> my chips will be really excellent. Let's take the tortillas. Cut them carefully. Now I'm going to take some oil. You still won't be able to repeat after a professional. Hit the oil and fry the sliced tortillas until golden brown. And now, what kind of nachos without cheese? I'm gonna put some nachos on the plate and then melt the cheese. This already looks so good. We'll pour the sauce over our nachos. Decorate with lime slices and you're done. This is an excellent dish. I won't be so happy that early. Hey! Oh, I completely forgot about them! Ugh, they should be put on a plate. Hope Margo likes that. I don't think so. What should I do? Um, let's mm. add some cheese powder. It'll fix everything. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, doesn't seem to help. Okay, let's hope Marco likes it. Oh my! My chips are ready. A little salt, <laughs> and it will turn out super good. Great. Well, and what kind of embers are these? Okay, I'll try a piece. Oh, what a horror! It's impossible to eat. And these look delicious. Mm, how yummy! Wait, are these chips all right, for sure? All right, all right. I'll take a bite. No, no, it's strange. So, Grandma's chips win! Yes. I told you! You've heard it! What? Oh, ketchup will come in handy. I want some spaghetti. Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. For sure, okay. dear. If only I knew how to cook it. Well, what do I do with that? Okay, put them in a saucepan. Wait, why don't they fit? How do you cook them? Oh, come on, get in! <sighs> uh, wait. <laughs> Stupid spaghetti, I'll show you now. Uh, come on, get in! What are you doing? First, you need to turn on the stove. See? And then put the spaghetti in the water. All right, all right, all right. See? That's easy. Holy They're holy. melting in. Okay. What's the matter? Yeah, oh. you definitely don't have a chance. Hmm. Real pasta is prepared differently. We take the flour. Yes. Pour it out with a slide. Make a recess in the center. Then take the eggs. We carefully break and knead the dough. A little black dye and you'll already get an unusual pasta. It is necessary to cover the dough for a while. I'll make time for it. Let's see. Okay. What? Oh, this what? is a mess. You guys, you all can right, take out the right, dough now perfectly. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna roll it out. Just like so. And now cut it. It turns out like real Italian pasta. Now we're going to boil it. Carefully put it on a plate. Perhaps the octopus is perfect for this pasta. Let's fry it. 
Put it on top of the pasta and you're done. Awesome! What are you doing? Why so much ketchup? There's no such thing as too much ketchup. Oh. Uh, wait, what's that? Andy, what are you doing? The spaghetti don't want to come out! Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. I'll get you now. Ugh, it doesn't seem to help me anymore. Oh, no! My opinion, spaghetti should not look like this. Why are they so difficult to cook? Wait, what if I replace them with ready made noodles? I can definitely hand it here. Everything. Okay, we're pouring it out. Cover it. And wait a little. Ready made noodles? Aw, oh, what a horror. These noodles are ready. Cool. Octopus, really? That looks disgusting. Uh, how to eat it? Mm, it's rubbery. What? I can't even take a bite of it. Disgusting. <laughs> Spaghetti with ketchup looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm, it's so good. Hmm. Wait, noodles in a box? Interesting. Mm, it seems not bad, but… Very spicy! My mouth is burning! Funny! I look like a dragon! <laughs> so, Andy wins! Yes. <gasps> Did I win? Yeah! <laughs> well, are you ready for the first challenge? And we'll start with a sandwich! Make me a sandwich that I'll be absolutely delighted! It's easy. Mind you, I'm watching everyone. The victory will be mine. And why so? It shouldn't be better to come up with a recipe. I've decided I'm going to make Margot the sweetest sandwich of her life. I'll add Nutella and a bunch of everyone's favorite marshmallows to it. That's not all. Some chocolate bar and chocolate syrup. It'll never be super fluous. Now it's time for a pop. Now this charm can be covered with a second bun. Oh, Mia. What a sweet tooth you are! I'm going to cook a very satisfying sandwich for my granddaughter. There will definitely be ham and cheese in it. Just perfect. To make it even better, I'll fry it in a frying pan. Ta-da! I'm even salivated. Yeah, you don't know anything about real sandwiches at all. The idea of toasting is good, but you need to fry the buns, not the whole sandwich at once. Then you need to add more vegetables to the bread. And now it's time for the secret ingredient. Snails! Snails? How disgusting! Who's going to eat this? You just don't understand anything, Grandma. This is a real delicacy. The snails need to be fried a little and put on bread. Then grated cheese with mold will be used. By the way, this is one of the most expensive cheeses in the world. Perfect. Why does such an expensive cheese sting so much? It's just a nightmare. Something's wrong with me. Oh, Granny, don't fall down. It's okay. Never seen such a reaction to this cheese before. Ah, perfect. Okay. Grandma, it's time to let Margot taste it. I wonder what's inside the sandwich. Are these snails? Oh no, I can't do it. But I like this sandwich on the other hand much more. It looks so big and delicious! Oh, yes. It remains to try the third candidate. Wow, I really like the sandwich too! Only the game can choose the winner. One, two, three… Grandma, congratulations! I told you. Margot, what do you think for you? In the new round, you have to cook me my favorite Caesar salad. Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> it will be done. Okay. Oh, what is this all about? Oh. I think it's very simple. Okay. Just think, you just need to chop the vegetables into small pieces. Mia, calm down! Oh. You need to cut vegetables very carefully. Look. <laughs> now also carefully, it also needs to be put on a plate. Along with the chicken, of course. In fact, everything is much more complicated. Granny, look. You need to take the arugula and put it in a blender. Then you need to add water and shake everything well. 
What is he doing? Wow. It wow. looks very weird. I'm making something very tasty. In the resulting mass, you need to add something like gelatin. After which you need to stir it, leaving it in a saucepan. Then you need to distribute the liquid over to the molds. It's time to cut the chicken. That's what a beauty I've got. Hmm. Yeah. I think Margot will like my approach. <laughs> Granny, what? what are you doing? I'm just grating cheese. It's time for me to start cooking. Be no. careful! <laughs> oh, exactly. Okay, I'll cut it into small pieces. <sighs> oh, it's so boring! Still, you know to cut faster. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard to teach young people something. Dang it! What have I done? This is no good. It's good that I have a backup plan. You need to take the hubba bubba gum and divide it into small pieces. Now I'm going to need marmalade ice. Granny, how do you like it? Oh, what a horror! Don't scare an old lady like that! Marshmallows will definitely go into my sweet salad. And we're without marmalade worms! Margot, it's time for you to determine who's won today. And clearly, that should be me. Okay, Margot. Choose the best one. Yeah! Wow! Well, well. What kind of green candies are these? Uh, is it with grass? Disgusting! Here's how the average Caesar looks. And let's try it. It tastes very good. Okay. But the most beautiful salad is waiting for me ahead. And the most delicious one. Awesome. Mia, you've won. Yeah, I knew my sweet Caesar was the best. This time, it's simple. Cook fried eggs for me. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Do you want eggs? There will be eggs. I'll just learn how to cook it. Well, oh. let's go. First, you need to pour some oil into the frying pan. I know that. I want it too, okay. so give it to me. <laughs> Wait, why is it not pouring? What? Come on! Oh, I think I went a little overboard. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't even break eggs in such a pile of oil. By the way, this is my next step. Yeah! <laughs> why don't you break it? Even as you'll break. Ta da! Well, almost what you need. <laughs> but I'll make something much more interesting than the usual fried eggs. For that, I'm going to put cream to whip in a deep frying pan. And then rub the orange zest. And now, let's add some agar agar. And of course, stir it well. Leave on fire until the mass reaches 70 degrees. Yeah! Now is the perfect time to form the eggs. For a similar look, the whites can be put in a frying pan. And as a yolk, I will use a pickled peach. Let's put it in the middle. And some mint leaf. <laughs> All right, what a horror! Oh no! I completely forgot about my egg! Oh no! It looks just awful! What should I do? Yeah, my eggs are another matter. It looks incredibly appetizing. Margot, it's time to determine the winner. Let's see who you like. Grandma, your eggs are very nice. Perfect. Okay. What? And what kind of overcooked coal is this? No, not even gonna try this stuff. But the third candidate looks very tasty. Let's see. Wow! And it is! It's even better than the fried eggs before! Chef Mike, what? give one! No. It was easy. <sighs> oh, no, 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 be careful. Hey. <laughs> now I want you to make me a donut. 
Wow. It won't be done. Okay, okay sweetie. I love donuts. However, I don't know how to cook them either. It's worth starting with dough. I'll cut out the right shape from it and fry it all in the frying pan. Let's pour some oil. Turn on the stove. And we can start. Turns out that there are special molds. How cool! Mia, be careful! Come on. Oh, so be it. Well, it's time to warm up the oil. You can throw the resulting donuts into it. Hmm. Oh, they're already doing it. Let's see. <laughs> oh no! They want to shoot me! Help! Hands off! Mia, what are you doing? I don't know! Trying to go with the oil? It's going everywhere! We need to turn on the fire soon! Well… What? I've ruined everything. Because you always oh, no. need to be careful. <sighs> yeah, apparently I'm the only one who knows how to cook here. Well, my donuts are almost ready. It remains to add the most delicious things. The feeling and the glaze. To do this, cut the donut in half and add the syrup. And then we cover the donut with the cut part and dip in the glaze. It will be very cool if you sprinkle donuts with additional sweets. These are just perfect. A perfect donut from a perfect chef. Awesome! <laughs> what about you guys? Mine are almost ready too, but the icing and syrup inside is way too sweet. It's honestly better to just sprinkle the donuts with powdered sugar. Wow! Look! It's just incredible. No. Oh, no, me, you can have it. Hmm, right. I just came up with an idea on how to make such donuts that Margot will definitely like them more than yours. To do this, you just need to distribute the melted cheese on the molds. Then chop the Cheetos thoroughly. <laughs> Let's smash it as hard as we can. Oh no, again. Now we're opening the pack and pouring it on a plate. We just need to roll the resulting cheese donut in it. Then it needs to be wrapped in foil and thrown into a frying pan. Let's do it. Well, the donut, according to my signature recipe, is ready. Margot, it's time to choose the winner. What a beauty! And delicious! You've got an incredibly sweet and bright donut, chef! Grandma, I really love your powder donuts, too. And what is this? Looks cool. Oh no! How spicy! No, I definitely don't like that! Chef, you've won again this time. I try very hard, thanks. <laughs> Subscribe to Barada so not to miss the same exciting and funny challenges. It's always a lot of fun with us. Bye, guys!